हेलो एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टूडे टॉपिक इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट वट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट एंड वी विल सॉल्व फ्यू न्यूमरिकल्स रिलेटेड टू द डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट कंसिडर अ सिंपल आरसी सर्किट विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ रजिस्टर एंड कैपेसिटर वी इज द सप्लाई वोल्टेज करंट पासिंग थ्रू रजिस्टर इज डिनोटेड बाय आई सी वेर एज करंट थ्रू द कैपेसिटर इज डिनोटेड बाय आई डी नाउ इन केस ऑफ रजिस्टर द करंट पासिस ड्यू टू द एक्चुअल मोशन ऑफ चार्जेस सो इट इज कॉल्ड कंडक्शन करंट डिनोटेड बाय आई सी टू कैलक्युलेट कंडक्शन करंट वी हैव द स्टैंडर्ड ओहम्स लॉ That is V upon R. R is the value of resistance. But in case of capacitor, there are two plates, and between the plates, dielectric is the medium which acts as insulator. So in that case, there is no actual flow motion of electrons, motion of charges. But the incoming current in one plate of capacitor is equal to current coming out from the another plate of capacitor. This kind of current is known as displacement current. That is denoted by आई डी द बेसिक इक्वेशन इज सी डी वी बाय डी टी दिस इज द बेसिक फॉर्म्यूला फॉर द कैलक्युलेशन ऑफ करंट विच इज अक्रॉस द कैपेसिटर नाउ वील सॉल्व फ्यू न्यूमरिकल्स रिलेटेड टू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट वील सॉल्व द न्यूमरिकल्स वी नीड ओनली थ्री फॉर्म्यूले टू सॉल्व सच टाइप ऑफ न्यूमरिकल्स जे सी इज जस्ट नो वी डिस्कस आई सी इज कंडक्शन करंट आई डी इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट डेन्सिटी ऑफ कंडक्शन करंट आई सी इज जे सी कंडक्शन करंट डेन्सिटी विच इज गिवन बाय सिग्मा इन टू ई ई इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेन्सिटी सिग्मा इज कॉल्ड कंडक्टिविटी जे डी इट इज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट डेन्सिटी ऑफ आई डी विच इज डी बाय डी टी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डी दिस बिग डी कैपिटल डी इज इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेन्सिटी एंड वी नो द बेसिक फॉर्म्यूला डी इज इफ्सिलॉन ई Now the ratio of J C and J D, that is conduction current to the displacement current, is given by sigma upon omega epsilon. Omega is angular frequency, which is expressed as two pi f, and epsilon is permittivity, which is given by epsilon zero into epsilon r. So these uh, three formulae are sufficient to solve the numericals on displacement current. now the problem is a lossy dielectric has mu r 1 epsilon r r 1 mu r is relative permeability epsilon r is relative permittivity sigma conductivity is given as 2 into 10 raised to 8 siemens per meter it is unit of conductivity equation of e bar is given at what frequency conduction and displacement currents are equal so we need to calculate the frequency at which jc is equals to jd so make use of this formula jc by jd is equals to sigma upon omega epsilon what is asked in first part at what frequency conduction and displacement currents are equal see if ic and id are same that means jc and jd are same one and the same thing so jc is equals to jd means this ratio is equals to 1 so from this i can write it like this sigma upon omega epsilon is equals to 1 so let us rearrange the equation we are interested in calculation of uh, frequency so i will rearrange the terms like this therefore omega is equals to sigma upon epsilon this omega i have transferred it at the rhs and uh, the terms are interchanged so omega is sigma upon uh, epsilon now omega is 2 pi f so i will write it like this 2 pi f is equals to sigma upon epsilon that means f is equals to sigma upon 2 pi epsilon now epsilon is epsilon 0 into epsilon r so i can well write this as epsilon 0 into epsilon r let us put the values in this equation so f is equals to value of sigma Is two into ten raised to minus eight upon two pi epsilon zero is permittivity of free space eight point eight five four into ten raised to minus twelve and value of epsilon r is equals to one. So if you solve this on the calculator, then answer will be frequency will be three fifty nine point five hertz. This is the answer of first part. Now. what is asked in the second part it is asked to calculate the 
value of zd that is displacement current density to calculate uh, the value of second part that is uh, displacement current density i have to make use of this formula so zd is equals to d by dt of d d is electric flux density just now i mentioned d and e are related by this equation d is epsilon into e because electric field is given in the question this is the given value of electric field and in the formula we need value of d so first we will write express d as epsilon into e and epsilon e is epsilon 0 into epsilon r so i will write the equation like this d by dt of epsilon 0 into epsilon r epsilon r is 1 so i am skipping this term into e e is 200 sin omega t i am skipping the direction because in the formula we need only magnitude so skip this direction az bar let us take constants outside this equation so it is epsilon 0 into 200 d by dt of sin omega t now we have to take derivative of sin omega t derivative of sin omega t is expressed as like like this epsilon 0 into 200 into omega cos omega t derivative of sin is cos omega t into omega so we need to put the value of omega and epsilon 0 epsilon 0 is 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 value of omega omega is 2 pi f so it is 2 pi into f just now we have calculated 359.5 hertz into cos omega t cos 2 pi into t 359.5 into t will remain as it is so if you do this calculation on the calculator answer will be 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 cos this term 2 pi into 359.5 that is the value of omega into t this is the final answer of jd jd is the displacement current density so its unit is ampere per meter square now let us solve some another numericals of a different type the next numerical is electric field E bar is 250 sin 10 raised to 10 T propagates in a medium having sigma. Sigma is conductivity which is for you Siemens per meter. Epsilon R relative permittivity is equals to 1. Calculate ZD that is displacement current density, JC that is conduction current density and the frequency at which JC and ZD are equal. That means JC is equal to ZD. Same set of formulae we need to use. So first part calculation of JD. To calculate JD, I have the formula D by DT of D. Like the previous sum, we discussed D is epsilon 0, epsilon r into E. Value of epsilon r is 1, which is given in the question. Put the value of epsilon 0 and put the value of E. So this equation can be written as D by DT of epsilon 0. Since epsilon r is 1, I am neglecting it into e that is into 250 sin 10 raised to 10 t so take constants outside so epsilon 0 into 250 d by dt of sin 10 raised to 10 t very simple you just have to take the derivative of this term sin 10 raised to 10 t so value of epsilon 0 is 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 into this 250 as it is. Derivative of this term is 10 raised to 10 multiplied by cos 10 raised to 10 t. So if you solve this on the calculator, the answer of JD will be 22.135 cos 10 raised to 10 t this is the answer of first part that is displacement current density since its density its unit is ampere per meter square now second part is it is asked to calculate jc jc is conduction current density so to calculate jc i have the formula 
फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला दैट इज जे सी इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा इंटू ए द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा इज डायरेक्टली गिवन दैट इज फाइव इंटू ई वैल्यू ऑफ ई इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन टू फिफ्टी साइन टेन रेस टू टेन टी सो इट इज वेरी मच स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड कैलकुलेशन इट इज वन टू फाइव जीरो साइन टेन रेस टू टेन टी दिस इज अबाउट द सेकेंड पार्ट so we calculated the value of uh, jc now the third part is we need to calculate the frequency at which jc and jd are equal so we will be making use of the third formula that is jc by jd is equals to sigma upon omega epsilon same logic jc is equals to jd means this ratio is equals to 1 so i will write it like this sigma upon omega epsilon is equals to 1 therefore omega is equals to sigma upon epsilon very much similar to the earlier problem but omega is this value omega is 2 pi f so i will write 2 pi f is equals to sigma upon epsilon therefore f is equals to sigma upon 2 pi epsilon simply put the value sigma is 5 upon 2 pi as it is epsilon is epsilon 0 into epsilon r but epsilon r is 1 so i will simply put the value of epsilon 0 that is 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 so if you do this calculation this answer will be 89.87 gigahertz giga is 10 raised to 9 so this is the value of frequency at which jc is equals to jd the another variation in such numericals is a parallel plate capacitor with plate area 5 cm square so first i will uh, note down the given uh, things so plate area is given that is a 5 cm square now common mistake we know that 1 cm is equals to 10 to the minus 2 meters but this is the area its unit is centimeter square so i will write it like this 5 into 10 to the minus 4 meter square because 10 to the minus 2 is for 1 cm so it is centimeter square so multiplied by 10 to the minus 4 then a plate separation that is distance between the plates is small d which is 3 mm that is 3 into 10 to the minus 3 meters this is mm that is millimeters So I have written into 10 to the minus 3 meters has a voltage V. This is the given value of voltage. This is the value of voltage applied across the plates. Calculate displacement current if epsilon is 2 epsilon 0. Now we have only three formulae. In this set, there is no formula to calculate the displacement current which is asked in the question. Then how to think? Write down the available formula. So. i have the formula jd is equals to d by dt of d but i don't want just displacement current density i want to calculate displacement current this is the density so displacement current density is related to displacement current as current divided by area this is the basic formula current divided by area is the density so from this i can write id is equals to a into jd therefore i am generating equation of id as a d by dt of d a into z is z is d by dt of d now think like this i don't have equation of d i don't have value of d so how do you think you can well express it d as epsilon into e epsilon is given value of epsilon is 2 epsilon 0 so it can be written as 2 epsilon 0 into e then the question arises even i don't know the value of e how to calculate value of e use the basic formula e is electric field intensity which is v upon d this is the basic formula to calculate electric field intensity to remember it how to memorize the uh, this equation it's very simple unit of electric field intensity is volts per meter so it is v upon d voltage upon distance distance is distance between two plates so from this i will get value of e that is v upon d then if you put this value of e you will get value of d put this in this equation you will get value of id this is the way how you should think for solving the numericals now first let us calculate value of e using this available formula so it is v upon d v is the given voltage that is 50 
साइन टेन रेस टू थ्री टी डिवाइडेड बाय स्मॉल डी डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द प्लेट्स इज थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ई देन वंस यू गेट वैल्यू ऑफ ई पुट इट इन दिस इक्वेशन टू गेट वैल्यू ऑफ डी सो डी इज इक्वल्स टू टू एप्सिलॉन जीरो सो आई एम कीपिंग इप्सिलॉन जीरो एज इट इज लेटर ऑन आई विल पुट द वैल्यू टू इप्सिलॉन जीरो इन टू फिफ्टी साइन टेन रेस टू थ्री टी अपॉन थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री नाउ वी हैव द फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ आई डी ए डी बाई डी टी ऑफ डी आई हैव जस्ट रिटर्न द इक्वेशन फॉर डी सो पुट द वैल्यूज इन दिस फॉर्म्यूला सो आई डी इज इक्व टू ए ए इज द प्लेट एरिया विच इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन फाइव इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस फोर डी बाई डी टी of this entire term that is 2 epsilon 0 into 50 sin 10 cube t divided by 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 this is the value of d which i have put take the constants outside remaining things are as it is 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 into 2 epsilon 0 into 50 upon 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 d by dt of sin 10 raised to 3t. I have taken all the constants outside this equation. Now very simple. Remaining part is derivative of this term sin 10 raised to 3t is 10 raised to 3 into cos 10 raised to 3t. So again this 10 raised to 3 can be taken outside. So solve this. Uh, Also calculation on the calculator by putting value of epsilon zero, which is eight point eight five four into ten raised to minus twelve. Then simplify the terms. You will get the equation. Final answer of I D as point one four seven five cos ten raised to three t micro amperes because this answer will be into ten raised to minus six. So I have written it as Micro amperes. This is the final answer of displacement currents. Dear students, I have completed the all types of variations of numericals that are expected that can be asked as far as displacement current part is concerned. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.